The world is yours, TV, 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 TV. People, you know what it is. Like I said before, when you see this sign, you know it's serious business. The world is yours, TV podcast show. And right about now, we've got another super duper guest. Yeah, something serious for you. The amazing, smashing Lily King, come through. People, come on, people. It's a serious thing. Yes. Yes. What a pleasure. What Thank a you. pleasure Thank to you have you on me. this show. Straight up and down. Like I've heard bits about you. We've heard bits about you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So to have you here in the flesh and really delve deep in, you know, what it is you do and what you're bringing to us. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a really nice thing. Thank you for coming. Thank you for you know having I mean? me. Um, just to start it off, let the people know who is Lily King. Well, Lily King is a spiritual being that's inside of this human body, but she's an embodiment of sex appeal and artistry, really. See? She's a G, you know what I'm saying? Okay. She's a right. She's all right. A Love that. <laughs> all right. So, all right. I heard, I mean, the word that stood out to me was sex. Yeah. So is that part of your, your thing, your ensemble? For sure. Definitely. It's an ensemble. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. All right. And that's because, is that because like, um, I mean, what, 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 what makes you choose that? I think it's a thing of, it's a natural kind of energy. Um, growing up and really putting myself into my womanly body, I was like, you know what? Everything in the industry right now and everything in this, um, society is kind of like, oh, no, you can't be too sexy or you're going to look ratchet. And I'm like, you know what? F that. I'm embrace it. Yeah, God yeah. God gave me this body, so I'm going to use it. A man, field. them, come That's on, it. what? You don't, you don't, you don't <laughs> give tanks when they embrace it. You don't give tanks. <laughs> Are you mad? <laughs> right. So, yo, I mean, is it, um, when, all right. So let's, let's go into like, what, what is it that you actually do then? So you sing. I'm a singer, yes. You rap. I'm a rapper, yes. Um, like, all right. So what would you say your, your, your audience is? Who, who do you write for? So I write for, really, I write for bad bitches and I write for like guys that are trying to like find themselves as well. Cause I can't lie. Right now, a lot of people do need some sort of guidance and some sort of like push to get to that place that they want to get to. It's hard for people to embody that sexuality. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So I write for them so that when they're in their room and they're getting ready and they hear the music, they feel like a bad B or they feel like they're that guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's a bit of inspiration you're of trying course. to give them, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously I'm flexing as well. Let me know. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Listen, uh, who am I to say that you can't flex? It's you must true. flex, in it? It's true. And especially if you've got talents. So this is what we're highlighting here. Do you know what I mean? That's what the world is yours is about. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's about the talent. Yeah? As much as people um, have got other outside talents, when you've got a talent like this, it's quite an amazing thing to channel it yeah. into something yeah, that is sure. yours. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And what is it that will make you stand out from all the other Bad bitches out there. So my like my unique um, selling point, yeah, the USP and that. Yeah, I what think, is it? Do you know what it is? I've found a way to, especially with my voice, I found a way to make art with it. So I've got my own kind of unique thing where I put loads of harmonies. I lay them on if I'm singing or if I'm rapping. I'm gonna be dirty and I'm gonna be gritty with it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. obviously, it's just got to stand out, stand out. That's it. Oh, that's sitting in it. Oh, I I don't know what but, but I can see, I can see where you're going with it. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And it's always been a thing like that. When we have clubs, if you can get the girls dancing, you're going to get it. the man them dancing. That's it. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of the time, if we're real, the people that buy music is usually females. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Man's yeah. will go and borrow it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. Women will buy it and buy a poster and that's blah, it, blah, that's blah. It. Yeah, do you yeah, know what I yeah. mean? And especially in an age where we've got women looking up to women. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? A lot of women are looking for women like yourself as guidance. That's do you know it. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so what's yeah. a positive side to you? What, what's the positive, would you say? Well, is it, or is it a balance or is it, is there a bad bitch and a good bitch? Or yeah. Is it, uh, mainly bad bitch, but yeah, that's all it. All right, all right. I'm, I'm all for the people. I'm all for the community. Like, I'm always trying to, like, get my hands in and help everyone out. Um, I'm thinking about projects in the nearby future. So it's like a big sister project. So it's like kind of helping the teenagers and the girls that are around right now. And even the guys just linking them up with people that have done stuff in their lives and 
helping them progress. You know. Do you think it's Do you think it's important to give back? Or? Oh, of course. If you, it's not. Is that like, real though? Are you being yeah, real? No, like, or are you saying it because you're on, on the heart, world on is yours? Heart, on my heart, nah, because the world is yours, obviously. But um, on my heart, for real, it's like um, it's something that's always been heavy on my heart. You know, growing up, I grew up in East London. I grew up in Cannon Town, basically. Right. And, um, I've watched everything around me. Do you know what I'm saying? And if I had had a chance or had an older sister that kind of come to me with some sort of guidance or something, maybe the beginning of like my teenage years and my early 20s would have been different. But right. obviously, can't be mad at it though. It makes you who you are. Do you get what I'm saying? So, all right, wicked. And we yeah. love that. I mean, all right. So let's step into this then. Um, projects. What projects have you got that are out that people should go and maybe look up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what projects have you got coming up? So let's start with the ones that people may... Is there anything that people should look up or know about you yeah. that we've missed? Well, uh, I've been doing this music thing for a while now. Uh, I started really when I was like 19. I really kicked into it. Um, I've got mad projects, mad songs that so came So not out. asking your age, but all right. I am 90. 28 and going to be 25. Right, I didn't even want to bait you up. It's not about that. I don't that. mind. I don't but like mind. you said, if you put in work, then... <laughs> Then That's people it. need to know, it. For real, for real. I took a break, though. I went to uni. I went and got my honest degree in arts and that. I had to. Like, so you're My mum was on my neck. You know right. what I'm saying? So, yeah. Had All right, to, yeah, see, that's sure. what I'm saying. So there's sure. it, some inspiration for you. Do you know what I'm saying? You could be a bad B and still go uni. 100%. Right, so go on, tell me about the projects that's coming up then. Let's say, or, or no, let's start with, like you said, some of the projects that we might have missed. Yeah, there's, um, I think one of the highlights of my career was um, there was a project that I did with Red Bull. So it was like, it was called The Cut. It's like, um, it was basically just putting you with some producers and making music that you haven't made before. So I ended up making a nice little house track, do you know what I'm saying? All right. I think it's fire. You should check it out. It's called Moonlight, which is really good. Yeah, so. And that's yeah, a banger. That's it should banger. be. I mean, with you and it should be a banger. Uh, I'm not being cocky here, guys, but let <laughs> other <laughs> <laughs> people do it for you. <laughs> just saying. No, but why not? And this is what I'm saying. This is what it's about. Gas yourself up. If you've for got sure. skills, as long as you can back your chat, that's it. Yeah, we're yeah, up yeah. for it. Do you know for what I'm real. saying? Yeah. So you've got a house banger. That's what is it playing out there? Have you heard it? Have you uh, heard it in the club? Um, it's a bit of a sticky situation with that <laughs> one, but uh, but yeah, no, it's out. We there. like a sticky situation. Yeah, Come on, it's elaborate. Out there, though. What um, are you saying? Uh, it's all it's been all out in like Europe. It was um on a lot of adverts and stuff. Do you know what I mean? But stuff. obviously that's their track. So okay, but I was still pushing out there. But yeah, that's all their right. track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so you've got that as a house track, mm -hmm. and then tell me what we've got to look forward to. Well, obviously, they scared. Uh, it's a banger. I'm not going to lie. Right, then, so, um, right. Yeah, I've got a few more tracks coming on straight after that as well. Some videos lined up as well. Don't want to say too much, but yeah, it's so, going to be right. saucy. So what, what producers... All right, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. If you had a feature and mm. you was doing an album, mm. who would you have? Who would you want to feature with you on a track? I know this might be a bit controversial, guys, yeah, but I can't lie. I fuck with Gunner really, really bad. Like, I fuck with Gunner's style. I fuck with Gunner's instrumentals. Everything, whenever I go on YouTube, I try to type up something like an instrumental to sound like Gunner. Is it? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Right. For sure. Yeah, so yeah. That, that's an inspiration to yeah, you kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, For sure, for sure. Wicked. Because, yeah, yeah there's, there's a, there's a L, uh, um, you know, you've got a style to you. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I've heard yeah, that flavour. There's a style to you. And I mean, I wouldn't be able to put my finger on where you come from or what it is. Yeah, Do you know what yeah. I mean? But I can hear that there's a lot of talent there. Thank you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, all right. So you've got, you've got that track. You've got a new track coming out, right? Yeah. That's called... So it's They Scared's coming. They Scared. And then there's a few more after. Don't want to say the names just yet, but yeah. And what are you going to be doing with this um, They Scared? I mean, are you going to be doing any shows? Is there any shows that you're going to be doing? Are you going to be doing any PA? What? How are you going to be getting that out? So um, there's a, there's in talks about like a remix that I'm going to be putting out for that as well. It's so just like an open 16 bar. I get some people to jump on it as well. Yeah, that's the way. You um, know. Yeah, I think it's right now it's just about consistency. So once one thing comes out, then the rest of it's just going to keep rolling in. Nice, and I hope it does, man. Yeah. That Red Bull thing, was it like a big deal then? Because Red, Bull, Red Bull's like a big... Like yeah, do you know what? Um, obviously, it was a great opportunity. Absolutely right. great opportunity. It was a great way to look into the industry from another like outlet. So, yeah, it was good, man. It was really good. Right, so you're just grabbing at them opportunities. Yeah, for sure, man. When, the, right. when the door opens, you got to walk through it. And that's what I'm saying. saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I can see the flavour and the way you're flexing and moving. Jeez, so, let me, let me ask you something now. Like, you said you started early. What made you realise you had talent? Or you had this talent? Um, obviously, let's backtrack. So, like, um, my dad put me through, like, a stage school when I was at 
three. So I was doing um I was doing acting, singing and dancing. I did that for a few years. And then when he passed away when I was nineteen, um, it kicked up again. Lily King came about, she was born. Lily and King was born yeah, then. Lily King was born literally. Um, I made one of my favorite tracks called Plug on Repeat, which is one you should definitely check out. Is that on YouTube and all that kind of That's stuff? That's on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. That, that didn't really push it too far because of right. copyright and stuff, you know. But yeah. All right, so Lily King. Lily King. Where'd that come from? Do you want to hear something funny? Yep, I want to hear it. Okay, obviously, I was in my garden. I was just sitting there and. <laughs> I know it's going to sound mad stupid and spirit. No, no, no it's on, not Come stupid, on, actually. come on, yeah. come on. I felt like a wind hit me and I was like, rah, okay. King, like, Lily King. And that was it. It was connected. Just like that? I swear. I swear everything. And yeah. you've stuck with it since? Stuck with it since. People try to tell me, oh, because obviously it's king with two eyes. Right. Why don't you change it to one eye? And I'm like, yeah, no. We're going to stick with two. Yeah, yeah. Stand, on your, two. stand on your twos. That's sure. right. For sure. So does the work? Does the name work for you? Of course, yeah. It does. Yeah. I think it kind of gives me a bit of a je ne sais quoi, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Good stuff. Come on. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I mean, all right. So you came down the studio and you laced up the, the studio. You've done a little piece for us. I mean, what do you reckon about the settings? How, how did you feel? Did you feel comfortable in our little bits? Do you see what we're doing? Exactly. Do you see the movement. Yeah, I definitely feel like when you come in here, you do feel like the world is yours. You do feel like, yeah, I can do this. I'm standing on my two feet, and there's people that are supporting you for sure so right. I did a little name drop there like, come Bing. on come on and that's what this show is about man that's what I'm saying yeah alright so listen just let's throw it out in the air if there was someone that you had to like I said if you had to collab with a company or a brand a clothing brand mm. for instance mm. yeah who would it be who would you choose I'm a I'm a Fendi kind of product really girl, like the two yeah obviously I love the designs I love bold designs and I love them um, Oh, even though it's min minimal, it's still something that stands out. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. Fendi Prada, if you hear me, hit me up. Come on, and this is what I'm saying. That's let's what, do this. This is all about okay. opportunities. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that's what this is about. This is yeah. about opportunities, and we're sure. gonna speak it into the metaverse. That's it. You get that's into it. the into the universe. You've got to manifest that. It's yeah. Gonna come, it's gonna come. And straight away, like like when I see you perform. I see you have this confidence, and this is what makes stars. Yeah. Yeah. In my eyes, anyone can rap. Anyone can string a, a poem together. For sure. Do you know what I mean? But sure. we're being picky on who we bring on here. And like, you didn't let us down when you went and tear up the mic, you know? <laughs> yeah, crowd, come. Come, what are you saying? Come, make some noise. What are you doing? It was a serious, it was a serious moment. Sweet. Like, you can contend. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't say that lightly. Who have you worked with in the past? Or have you done any stage shows that we should know about? Is there any moments that you've been on stage or in the studio and it's, it's a memorable moment? Yeah, for sure. Um, I did a performance last year with uh, Fluid. It's basically my, my family, my friend's family, basically. Fluid. They're my friends, but they're my family. What, they're yeah, musicians? Yeah. No, they um they hold events. So it's LGBTQ okay. events. And um, they put me on for Bia. So Bia from the States. Okay. I opened up for her last year. That was pretty good. And I did um, UK response? Black Pride, Pride as well. Huh? Response, the response of oh, the yeah, crowd? Oh, yeah, it's lit, it's lit. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's open and it's there for you? Yeah, for so sure. So you are expecting big things to happen? Yeah, man, for sure. If God willing, that's it. That's what's nah, got to happen. It's the standard. It's happening. It's happening. And yeah. like, this, is, this is a step <laughs> to it. Do you know what I mean? Definitely a step to it. Family and stuff. What do they think of the persona and this Lily King character? I'll tell you something you funny brothers? again. Yes, I have. I've right. got an older brother and an older sister, but they're in they're in Sierra Leone, so okay. I'm the only one that's here. But they're aware of your of what oh, you're yeah, doing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So how's that taken in the in the home? Like, are they like <laughs> we're like Lily King when Lily comes into the house? What is it? Is it <laughs> obviously obviously like um it's not a put on put off kind of thing. It's me, you know. It's right. it's actually my persona. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? So nothing here is fake. Or it's actually Good. how I am. But um yeah, my mum. She's my biggest support. I absolutely love her. She works in um, the NHS. So it's an old people's home. And her right. manager, she showed her my music. Her manager walks around the building with my song playing in her pocket. Come while, on. While she's working. Do you and you mean? can't lose. If you've got mama on the side, I'm do you understand what I'm you, saying? Listen, I've got the degree. Mummy said, all right, cool, yeah. No worries. Do, nice. do, do your, you do your do. stuff. Exactly. And do you know what? It's, I'm amazed. Like I'm not even trying to take it away from you, but the degree thing and the music, yeah. I know how it, how, how it how, how hard it is to juggle both mm -hmm. you get me mm -hmm. i didn't do no degree yeah but 
I give props to anyone that does Thank it you, because it's definitely some something you have to lock down to. Yeah, do you know what I mean? For sure. So yeah, I, I, I think that's a great thing in itself. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Don't get twisted. I was crying though. Like I was, I what do you was mean? very stressed. What dude. do you mean crying? Doing the degree. What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that last. Uh, what did you do it in? What was I did. Um, it's a creative musicianship basically. It's in okay. the Institute in Contemporary Music. And that allows you music. to do what? Yeah. As it. Um, so it's open doors. Like they showed me a lot about production, mixing and mastering, um, business, how to do marketing. Right. Yeah. So it was definitely it was a great thing I could have done. So you get involved in all your marketing, all yeah. your production, and all that kind of stuff. Me. Everything's me. When you styling. say that, what do you mean? Everything's you. So styling and direction for music videos and makeup and hair. Obviously, some days I do like source out people, but most of the time it's just me. It's you. It's just me. And, yeah. and I heard a little a little bird in the in the in the corridor say that you have a um, your own label. Yes, I do. Right, so tell us about that. It's called Pimp Juice Records. Pimp Juice, Juice Records. Yeah, what well, that is. Yeah. Shout Pimp out Daddy. Juice Records, yeah. That's my nickname for my daddy. So he calls me Pimp Juice and we made our record label together and I All signed right. myself. So yeah. All right, and what's happening with that then? What What's the plans for that? Like so, highlight it now, let the people know. Yeah, for sure. The thing is... Um, to make sure that people are on board and make sure people know that their career is in safe hands, I want to make sure they can see me doing what I'm doing. So I've let mine elevate, let mine progress, and then start signing some people on. Wicked. That's the plan. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Hobbies. Is there any other hobbies that you do? I know it's a bit maybe corny and all that kind of stuff, but do you, do you have any hobbies or is there yeah. something? Because I, I heard something about training and all kinds of stuff. Like I that. like to go to the gym, yeah? Oh. I like to go to the gym. I like to work out my quads and my glutes. And um, I like to read as well. I'm not going to lie. I've really got into reading lately. Good. Really, really got into Come reading. Come on, and that's what we need, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so like I say, people, this is a real role model, you know? <laughs> like a proper role model for some of you young ladies out here getting into this stuff. Give me some advice or give some of your youngers some, some advice on how to get in this as a young woman. Yeah, because the guys seem to breeze through anyway. Mm -hmm. And enough of us is hard head anyway. Mm -hmm. But give some of the women out here some, like, jump some hurdles. What, what, what? What are some of the tips to get through it? And what's some of the things that they might encounter on yeah. their journey yeah, yeah. that they might have to get? I have to dodge yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. yeah. on. Makes sense. Um, but ladies, I think the first thing's first. If you know you've got a talent and you believe in yourself wholeheartedly, you need to be un unapologetically authentic like Straight. you have to make sure you own your craft you own your shit like if you really are saying you're that shit you need to own it right. and walk into rooms and make sure people know that yeah she stands by her stuff you know and always i'm like a big mental health advocate make sure your mental health is on point before you get into the industry because if it's not it's gonna beat you down and you're gonna lose hope do you know what i mean and lose faith so make sure this is tip top make sure your heart is tip top and your soul is cleansed and baby, you gonna make it. Oh. You gonna do what you need to do. Come on, and yeah. this is what I'm saying. I love it. I love it. You know, like you said. All right, remind them what the tune is, um, where they can get it. Yeah. How they can get it. Um. Yeah. So the tune is called "They Scared." It's out the 19th of May, which is not too far away. Right. Um. It's out on all platforms. The music video is out on YouTube as well. Wicked. So yeah, just hit me up on my socials if you have anything to say about it. If you want to work, let me know. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, boy, I'd say that's a rap kind of thing. Um. You know, is there anybody you want to big up while you're on The World Is Yours TV? Yeah, for sure. I want to shout out Daddy. Obviously, I love you, baby. Uh, I want to shout out to my mom and my stepdad. Thank you so much. And I want to shout out God for pushing me. And obviously, my best friends as well. Absolutely wow. amazing. Love that. Yeah. Love that. And like I said, from us, it was a pleasure having you. Thank Seriously. You. Thank and it was you. a pleasure actually watching you perform. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, people, listen, if you get a chance and you see this young lady, Lily King, on any flyer or any any kind of email flyer, you've got to go and rep. Do you know what I'm saying? Because we're here to blow up our stars. That's and it. we've got stars here. Do you know what I mean? It's not everybody must get blow up, but mm -mm. stars that can perform and tear up a stage, <laughs> it's a different thing. For Do you know sure. what I mean? Yeah. So, boy, the world is yours. Lily King, Thank me, you. Simon Blingwear, the rest of the people in the squad. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Share and like, guys. Yep, don't forget, <laughs> share and like. You know what I'm saying? I'm gassed. Blood, yeah. I'm gassed. 
And yeah. hit me up on my Insta. It's L I L Y K I I N G underscore. Make sure the king has two eyes and not one. You heard that, yeah? That's it. YouTube is Lily King as well. It's just L I L Y K I I N G. Yeah. I think you've done it. Thank you. I think she's done it. Thank you for having Make me. Make sure you don't disrespect the thing. The world is yours, Lily King. That's Ring! Live, 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 live. The world is yours, TV, 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 TV. Standing on these bitches' necks. Breaking up a couple checks. Said that you got.